In this Croatia travel vlog, we'll explore the historical city of Zadar, Croatia. We'll answer the question, is Zadar worth visiting? By sharing our full Zadar experience, including things to do in Zadar, Croatia, Croatian food, accommodation, and much more. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And we're coming to you from Zadar, Croatia. Zadar is the perfect place for a relaxed seaside getaway. As Croatia's oldest continuously inhabited city, it has a rich history with many beautiful historical structures scattered throughout the city. It has a charming old town area with plenty of restaurants, gorgeous coastal walks and lovely beaches. Additionally, it has a relaxed pace and is just as scenic as its more popular neighbour split. Zadar is perfect for young families as well as couples and solo travellers looking for a place to unwind. Furthermore, its convenient location between Zagreb, Split and the Croatian islands makes it a convenient stop when travelling around Croatia. Zadar is a beautiful Croatian port city, conveniently located between Zagreb and Split. There are regular intercity buses from Zadar to both these cities. Furthermore, it is only a short ride from a number of Croatian islands which can be seen from the coast. As a port city, Zadar also has ferry connections to a number of cities in Italy. If you prefer to fly, Zadar has its own international airport. Zadar Old Town is one of the main attractions in Zadar. The defensive system of Zadar's Old Town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of six forts that formed the Republic of Venice's defence systems in the 16th and 17th century. This area also includes the impressive ruins of Zadar's Roman Forum in the heart of the Old Town that dates back over 2,000 years ago. There are many impressive churches, town squares and historical structures to explore. Additionally, there are modern installations to check out, like the sea organ and the greeting to the sun structures along the waterfront. So those eerie sounds that you hear behind me is the art installation, the sea organ. So the waves crash up against uh, the instrument and it creates unique sounds with every movement of the ocean. It's really fascinating, a little bit eerie, but really cool nonetheless. Just at the end of the old town of Zadar is this installation behind me. It's like a little light show that lights up at night. So during the day, all the solar panels get the energy to then display all night and it looks really cool. If you just get out around half an hour outside the old town, you come to this amazing beach area. So there's paths all along the coastline here and it's just beautiful. It's March right now and it feels very much like winter still. So it's still a little bit cold in the water, but it's still just an amazing walk. And if you like running, then just come for a jog along the coastline. You'll really enjoy it. We're at Colavare Beach, which is a pebble beach, 15 minutes walk south of Sadar. Just beyond Colavare Beach is a scenic walking track with spectacular sea views. This is the perfect place to come for an afternoon stroll. Just across the water are a set of islands and at the end of the day the sun sets behind those islands making for a beautiful sunset. Zadar, Croatia is right on the water and you can't be on the water without having some fresh seafood. So we have here some mussels. They're from a specific area in Croatia called Novigrad. Now these come in a tomato-y sauce and they've been just drenched in the sauce. So yeah, this looks really good. We got this at Trattoria Mediterrana for 64 kuna. Yeah, so it's got that chewy texture that you have in mussels. It's got a nice burst of saltiness. That sauce is a really nice addition as well. Croatia, as well as Italy and France, are known for growing truffles. And in particular, some types of truffles are only grown in this region, in all of the world. So this dish here is a black truffle dish. It's pasta with black truffles and sheep cheese. We got this from Trattoria Mediterrana and this looks delicious. Mm. Truffles have a really nice earthy flavour. They kind of taste like mushrooms but a bit more complex. 
and I guess it's quite a subtle flavor but it does work well with the cheap cheese and it looks like there's a few pieces of beef in here as well and yeah this is a really nice dish so we love truffles they can be an acquired taste but make sure you try some truffles when you're in Croatia we're having lunch today at a local restaurant in Zadar. We've got some Croatian seafood specialties. So I've got a tuna steak and I've got a side of charred and potatoes, which is a local style dish. So yeah, this looks really beautiful. It was 70 kuna for the steak and then the sides, you always have to order the sides separately. It doesn't come with vegetables in the meal with your protein, so that's a bit different. The sides were 25 kuna each. This is a really beautiful piece of tuna steak and it's covered in oil, a bit of parsley and a little squeeze of lemon as well. Mm. That is really nice. We're on the water here. This is a beautiful place to get some fresh seafood. A seafood dish which is typical of Croatian seafood is the black risotto. So this looks really awesome. So I believe this is squid ink and we've got it with cuttlefish. So I've just sprinkled a little bit of parmesan on it just to give it a, a little bit of extra bite. Oh yeah, that goes really well together. So the dish itself is really strikingly black and the taste of it, I think the ink gives it quite a subtle seafood taste. It's really pleasant and this is a really nice dish. Uh, it was around 70 kuna or around 11 euro. Croatia is a country that is jam-packed with natural beauty and we highly recommend taking some day trips from Sadar to explore the country more while you're here. Croatian islands such as Ulyan and Dugiatok are just a short ferry ride away. On the mainland, the waterfalls of Plavici Lakes National Park are spectacular and are one of the most popular tourist destinations in Croatia. Welcome to our home in Zadar, Croatia. This is an Airbnb, we've rented it out for a week and it's really central to town, very convenient. It's a newly renovated unit and it's got a really large TV there with Netflix, which we love. It's got a balcony area as well. And this is the combined living dining room. So yeah, the lounge room, the lounge is really comfortable. The kitchen is really well set up. So this is a dishwasher in here. There's a oven and stove, microwave and fridge. So yeah, everything that we could need. And then we've got a dining table, which is handy for being able to work on it. Um, and here is our secondary living area. So there's a bed here if we wanted to have another person in with us. Uh, there's even another TV, a really big TV as well, and a set-top box, which is quite handy. We've got a bathroom with a washing machine, love that. Um, we also have a heated towel rack, which is really handy. Nice shower pressure, really nice hot water here, which is always handy. And then we've got the master bedroom. So one really surprising thing about bedrooms in Croatia is that you have individual dunas rather than like a queen size doona to share. So if you live with someone who hogs the sheets, having your own doona is very handy. If you're a really active sleeper and you throw things around, then having a single size doona can be a downside. But yeah, it's an interesting and different way to do things. We, we've noticed that a few European style countries tend to have the single dunas rather than the double. So yeah, something surprising about Croatia. Uh, so yeah, this is a really lovely unit, very centrally located, as I mentioned, quite a lot of features and we've been very comfortable here and it's yeah, pretty cheap as well. When planning your trip, we recommend avoiding the peak season of June to August if you want to avoid the crowds. 
During the peak season, accommodation prices increase significantly and you do need to book ahead to secure accommodation, transport and tours. We recommend coming in May or September when the weather is still gorgeous, prices are more affordable and there's less need to plan too far in advance. Another thing to keep in mind is that for Croatia travel in 2022, the currency is the Croatian kuna. However, Croatia will adopt the euro in 2023. We hope you enjoyed our Zadar travel guide. If you did, give us a like and leave a comment. If you would like to join us on our bucket list journey to 100 countries, then don't forget to subscribe. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.